Hey, g'day. G'day. My best Aussie accent. Um, I was going to do this a little while, uh, in, in, in a little bit longer, but um, but I thought um, I'll do it now and just show you sort of the before thing. Um, I started dabbling in aquaponics, and you may or may not have seen it, but there's there's a heap of information out there on the web now that's starting to crop up anyway. Um, but the reason I thought I'd do it is I'm getting a few questions from people um, about growing things in small pots and that sort of stuff, and I'm guessing they're sort of in urban areas or without too much land. Bit different to what I've got here, where I've got so much land, um, and um, so aquaponics is perfect for those sort of situations. And while this one that I did here, I did this, oh, I did this maybe six months ago, just some stuff that I had left over, and it worked. It was so easy, um, and it's a bit bigger than what you might do in a lot of places, just because of the stuff that I had and the space. But um, you can really make it small, and it's cheap and easy, and it's a great way to grow. Um, you know, a small amount of vegetables, particularly things like lettuces and stuff, but I grew some tomatoes and bits and pieces in there, and it's really, it's a really cool thing. Um, uh, I, I just like the kind of the science and the engineering behind it as well. It's a little bit of stuff to play with, you know, a little bit of a project to sink your teeth into, so that was, that was pretty cool. But I'm about to um, um, just sort of extend it or rebuild it. I've sort of left it sit now for, for a little while. Um, and I thought I'd just do this as a bit of a before video as well and just give you a, the first bit of an insight into, into aquaponics and, uh, and what it is and what it's about. So uh, yeah, I'll just grab the camera and show you a little bit better. So this is my aquaponics setup. Now I mean, aquaponics, it's, it's just like um, uh, hydroponics really and most people know what hydroponics is. It's basically growing of plants um, uh, just using using water and without without soil now um, and what you can see here I guess if you've ever seen any hydroponics setup is a classic sort of hydroponics setup on that side of it but the difference with aquaponics is that uh, you're not purchasing nutrients or special solutions to put in the water to grow your hydroponic plants in um, what you're actually doing is producing the nutrients by um, having a, a, a tank with fish in it and the fish obviously produce waste into the water uh, and then you circulate that water up through the hydroponic setup the plants extract the nutrients out of the water um, and clean the water that then goes back into the fish tank so um, there are a couple of a bit more in detail steps that happen in there particularly in the water phase where the fish fish the fish waste is predominantly comes as ammonia um, and it is then uh, you, you need to grow a colony of bacteria which happens automatically provided you produce the, the have the right environment in there and the, these bacteria convert the ammonia through to nitrates which is what the plants prefer to take up out of the water uh, and then obviously as that water comes back into the fish tank it's got less nitrates in it and the, the water is better for the fish to live in now um, you can see my, my tank here the way I did it, I just happened to have this old container. It's uh, about a one cubic meter, so uh, just over a meter wide by a meter long and a meter a meter high, which is a fairly big setup. You know, that's a that's a thousand liters in there. Um, but as I said, I just happened to have that lying around, and I happen to have a stack of pipe lying around as well. <laughs> just coincidentally, that I sort of connected up and away you went. But if you have a look on the web, you can do much, much smaller versions of this. You can literally just have a, um, you know, a plastic drum, a 200 gallon drum with some fish in it. Even goldfish, they say that goldfish are one of the dirtiest fish, which is great. They produce lots of nutrients for this side of it. In here, you can't see them. My water is actually a little bit dirty at the moment, but it doesn't seem to bother the fish. I'm growing um, silver perch in there, which I, um, the first lot I bought just some fingerlings from a, um, from a uh, aqua, aquaculture um, supplier, it was really easy. You know, I think I got like a hundred fingerlings for fifty dollars, like fifty cents each. And I put I put half of them in here, and then I put the other, the rest of them in our dam out here, which I may I may never see again. But um, that was actually too many fingerlings because the idea of this uh, of this is not only that you can harvest, um, you know. Uh, food from the from the hydroponic sort of setup, but you can also get fish out of the um, out of the tank. Now, 
I, um, I had way too many fish in there to start with and they didn't really grow. They produced plenty of nutrients for the, for the uh, plants, but um, I actually removed a stack of them and I'm not sure, I've only got maybe four or five left in there, but I'm not really doing it so much for the fish, uh, for the fish to eat, I guess. I, I probably should be paying a bit more attention to that side of it, but like I say, I, I, I wasn't sure if this would actually work, and so I just sort of whacked all this together one weekend in a bit of a frenzy, and um, you know, and away it went. I mean, the, the, uh, the pipe, this is just um, 100 mil pipe that I, um, um, drainage pipe that I had left lying around, and I simply just drilled some holes into it. You buy these pots, these are just your classic pots from any um, hydroponic store that you can go to, and there seems to be heaps of them around these days. I guess the the um, the herb growers <laughs> uh, seem to keep the aquaponics uh, hydroponic stores going really good. So that was just a little pot. So drill the hole, put the pot in, straight away, and then inside that, um, I just uh, I used um, perlite, which is this. Uh, you might be able to see it here. One of these. It's like um, it's like material that you get out of bean bags almost. It's not this. It's not. It's not the same. But um, it feels like that, and it just absorbs the water up. And there's just the water is running through to sort of the bottom, very bottom of the um, of the pipe, and it gets sucked up through that media into the into the pot, and then feeds the plant. Now. Um, uh, I've, I've put a couple of crops in here. I ran tomatoes the first time and that worked really well. Um, you had to tie them up a little bit because they, they sort of got so high. But what has worked great, apart from this session, was um, was lettuce. You know, I mean, they're a classic hydroponic setup and they worked really well in the aquaponics. Um, the only problem I had this time, I put these in in uh, early January, um, or January anyway, and it's now what, mid-March. Well, it's just a complete wrong time here to do that actually these are these have all gone straight to seed they just race to seed straight away so it was because it's so hot here like it was just the wrong time of year for me to actually do that but you can see they grow perfectly well I mean and I haven't done anything I haven't even fed these fish for um, for months I used to feed them all the time but I found that they weren't actually eating that much food and and I guess because of where I are here I get a lot of I'm not sure mosquito larvae, but all other sorts of bugs that are um, growing in the in the water in here, and and the the, the fish that I've got the silver perch. Uh, I even got a, I managed to catch a couple out of my creek in there, and um, um, they they're just going off. You know they're pretty good hunters in there, so they seem to to eat that no no problem at all. Um, uh, yeah, so I haven't done anything. So it's a really easy setup. Other than I bought the little seedlings and I, and I put the lettuce seedlings in, um, and away they go. And to pump the water through, this is uh, this is actually a continuous flow arrangement down in in here under this pipe. I've just got a little tiny fountain pump. It's a 20 watt pump, so it's nothing. Um, and I could. If I keep this going, I'll actually run this onto a solar panel, a little tiny solar panel. I would run that pump, and it just runs continuously actually through 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 this setup. The setup I'm about to change it to, I'll leave this, but I've got another tiny little pump as well. I'm going to convert that to the other system to a flood and drain system. I'm running out of time, so I better just quickly show you what I'm doing over here. And this over here is going to be the the next section for my flood and drain section. I've got this, which is the bottom of an old tank. Um, it's about 300 millimeters high, about a foot deep there. And this system I'm going to fill up. Um, I need to make a bit more heavy duty stand for it. You can see it's just sitting in an old cable drum. But uh, that works pretty good. It's a nice height. You know, this is just a waist height for me. I'm going to fill that up with gravel. Um, and then I'll put the other pump on a little timer. And so three, four times a day, the pump will come on. It'll fill this up to the top level. Um, and then the pump will turn off and then this will drain and that'll simply just that'll wet all of the roots of the, the plants and as the water drains it'll suck oxygen back down into the roots as well and so this one here will be I can grow a lot more um, more like a typical garden bed really so I'm looking forward to getting that done over the next uh, I don't know over the next month or so and uh, I'll, show, I'll do another video when that's finished so Anyway, that's just a little insight into my uh, aquaponics system. On the next videos, I'll put a bit more detail in there, but if you've got any questions, whatever, just leave some comments down below. Cool. Thanks for watching.